All right, the third installment of a CGI animation for families. This, this could be good, could be crap. Madagascar 3. Alright, so in Madagascar 3, we're joined once again by Alex the Lion and his friends, and they all want to get back to New York, to the zoo, you know, where life is comfortable. And to do that, they hop on a circus train so they can hitch a ride to get to America, unseen by Cruella DeVille, who works for the Animal Control Agency. This chick looks just like Cruella DeVille, minus the weird hair. And when this movie started out, I was like, this movie is on the fast track to becoming a generic animation. Then when they get on the circus train, it really picked up. Why? Well, the movie focused itself, but mostly because of that Russian tiger that dude was the best he was the backbone of the entire movie he made this movie that's right the russians made america this guy was the heart of the movie he had the damage he, he's the reason everyone in the circus kind of sucks now he was the story i was invested in he made me like this movie and after that you have some fun comedy some quirky characters that i really liked a predictable story arc yeah you're like oh, okay this is when this is gonna happen all right this is when this is gonna happen out oh, the movie's not gonna resolve yet because this hasn't happened but i enjoyed it i got invested in the movie and damn it i ended up liking it good comedic timing too those penguins are the best and they say really subtle things and you're like all right that's <laughs> that's really funny yeah other characters were funny too. I like the bizarre romance between the bear and the lemur. It cracked me up. I bought it more than most romances in movies. You know how these romances in movies can be? This one, it was all right in my book. Be it silly. Yeah, silly. That's the word for it. You almost feel like the Cruella DeVille character is pretty unnecessary. She had her role to play to make the predictable story arc come out where, you know, when they have to hit their lowest low, it has to happen in a movie like this. Other than that, she's really insignificant in the broad spectrum of the movie. Everything you're invested in has nothing to do with her. And in the end, it had a really good message about life. I don't always require that in movies like this. It's like when gold falls from the sky. I don't expect it to happen. When it does, I'm not going to argue it. In fact, I'm probably gonna like it. It had a good message about not hanging on to the past, liking what you have now, let the past be the past, it's okay to move on. In fact, it's probably better to remember the past the way you like it rather than to go back and find out it's not quite as good as you remember. I like that, the movie got major points from that. I will say Madagascar 3 is a surprisingly funny and good time, no alcohol required. If you take your kids to this movie, they will like the entire movie you'll like from about 15 minutes in on. All right, so the Madagascar movies, what's your favorite Madagascar movie? I can ask that because there's three of them now. Whatever it may be, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.